Hey guys, Ren here. Today, I'm going to be walking you through how to set up a dedicated Terraria or Tmod loader server, allowing you to host a world that you and your friends can play on whenever you want. It's really an easy process, but first, we need to go over some important details. Using a dedicated server requires giving out your public IP address. You should only be giving this information to people that you trust as this is important information that can leave your system and network at risk. Secondly, this tutorial is going to be going over port forwarding or setting up a virtual server, and you're going to need access to your internet router settings. There's a link in the description if you need to search for your router's default username and password if you don't already know it. Finally, you'll need Tmod Loader in order to run a Tmod Loader server. I'll have a link in the description on how to install Tmod Loader as well. With all that out of the way, let's get into it. First, let's start by setting up our port forwarding for the server. Open your start menu on your computer and type CMD, which will bring up your command prompt. Open command prompt and type ipconfig, which will give you the following information. We want to take note of the IPv4 address and the default gateway. Both are important to setting up your port forwarding and you want to keep this open for the next few steps. Copy your default gateway into your internet browser and it will take you to your router's login screen. Log in and we're going to look for either port forwarding or virtual servers. Mine was in the advanced options under the NAT forwarding tab, but yours might be in a different location. Once you find your port forwarding section, Begin by adding a new port forward, and you'll have something similar to this on your screen. The service type is just the name of your port and has no impact on anything, so we're going to be naming ours Terraria Server, just to make it clear. Next, the external and internal ports are going to be listed as 7777, as this is the port that Terraria's servers use. The internal or private IP is going to be your IPv4 address we were discussing earlier. Copy and paste your IPv4 into this section. Finally, set your protocol to TCP, save your port, and you've finished your port forwarding. Go ahead and close out your command prompt and internet router settings, and we'll move on to starting up your server. For Terraria users, open your Steam and right-click on Terraria. Head to Manage and then Browse Local Files. For Tmod Loader users, follow the same steps, but right-click on Tmod Loader instead of Terraria. Then, find the startserver.bat file, or for Tmod Loader users, start Tmod Loader server.bat and open it. This will open a command prompt that hosts the server, so do not close this. For Tmod Loader users, the mods that you currently have enabled will be active on your server. But you can change this by typing M in your command prompt to open the mods menu, where you can then enable and disable the mods you currently have installed. Type R when you're finished to be brought back to the main menu. Select the world you want to run on the server by either pressing the numbers listed or typing N to create a new world. We are going to be using a test world in this tutorial. Set your max players by either typing out the maximum amount of players you want on the server or just pressing enter to leave it at the default maximum of 16. Then, press enter again to skip the server port screen. Once you reach the automatically forward port section, type Y and press enter. Set your password and your server is good to go. If Windows Firewall prompts you to allow your Terraria server, be sure to select allow or you'll have to head to your Windows Firewall settings to allow them. Finally, now that your server is up and running, Head to your internet browser and type What's My IP into Google. Copy your public IP address and open your Terraria or Tmod loader. Once in, head to the multiplayer section and join by IP using your public IP address. Leave the port section as is, enter in your password, and you should be in your server. If you're stuck on a connecting screen, that means that your Windows firewall is blocking your connection. Open your Windows Firewall settings, head to Inbound Rules, and find Terraria. If it shows a red circle, double-click, head to Actions, and select Allow. And that should do it for today's video. If this helped you, be sure to like and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.